Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about different classes that you should take for the MCAT. Now I'm splitting it up into two kind of different categories. Um, I'm going to do the first category of classes are going to be classes that you definitely should take uh, that, that are kind of the obvious ones like the biology, chemistry, stuff like that. The second category that I'm going to split it up into are going to be classes that it, you should take if you have some extra electives or you just want to fill up your whole schedule with classes just for the MCAT, just to give yourself the best chance to do the best that you can on this test. As always, before we get into the video, make sure to go down and hit that like button. And if this video helps you out at all, make sure to subscribe. I do make new content, new videos every week. So before we start with the classes, I do just want to say, uh, if you guys don't know how the MCAT works or uh, kind of what you need to do to take the MCAT, you do not have to take any of these classes to take the MCAT. There are no prereqs for the MCAT. You can technically just go take it right now without having taken any of these classes. These are just suggestions on things that are gonna help you study and to help you kind of do the best that you can on the MCAT. So the first class that I have for you guys that you're definitely gonna to wanna to take, uh, kind of the most obvious one is gonna be one year of biology. This is gonna cover a lot of your basic biology and kind of give you a stepping stone for the more complex biologies. Uh, kind of start building your foundation. Now these biologies are not going to cover things like organ systems or the endocrine system, nervous system, uh, things like that. It is just going to give you a basic foundation and just a lot of general information about biology. Biology is mixed with the bio biochem section of the MCAT. For those of you who don't know, the MCAT is split up into different sections. Uh, for this one, biology is 65% of this section, so you're definitely going to want to hit this one hard. Okay guys, the second class that I have for you that you're going to want to take is going to be one year of general chemistry, Gen Chem 1 and 2. Taking both semesters is going to be really important. Uh, me personally, I did find that Gen Chem 2 helped me more than Gen Chem 1. I just feel like there's more concepts from Gen Chem 2, but once again, definitely take both they're both very very helpful general chemistry is going to fall under the chem phys section of the mcat and it's going to be around 30 percent of this section so it is going to be very important and it is kind of a bigger chunk of this section okay guys so class number three that you guys are going to want to take it's going to be one year of organic chemistry now if you can only get one semester in if you're taking it let's say your junior year or for whatever reason you can only get one semester of organic chemistry in that is okay simply because it is kind of a lesser section of the mcat it's only about 15 percent of the chem phys section. You are gonna at least just wanna be introduced to organic chemistry though, because unlike biology or chemistry or physics, it's gonna be something that you have never heard of before. It's like going to a whole new language class you've never spoken, and then on top of that, adding some complex chemistry concepts to it. So at least you're gonna wanna do at least one semester of organic chemistry. Uh, if you can get two, then great. All right guys, class number four is gonna be one year of physics. Same kind of concept with organic chemistry. If you can only get one semester, it's not gonna be super detrimental, but physics is also in the chem phys section and it is about 25% of this section. So you are gonna wanna make sure that you do learn these concepts, but if you just take physics one, then you should be good to go. If you wanna take physics two, it will not hurt you. Okay guys, the fifth core class that I have for you to take before you take the MCAT is gonna be at least one semester of biochemistry. You can take both semesters of biochemistry. The second semester is straight up metabolism, only metabolism. If you get the Kaplan practice books and you go to the biochem section, they have their practice book for it. Biochem two is really only three of those 12 chapters. So, I mean, it's mixed in with all the other 12, but really hits them hard in only three of those 12 chapters. So if you don't want to take biochem 2 or if you can't for whatever reason, it's okay. You can learn that on your own, but at least for sure, just take the first semester of biochemistry, biochem 1. Biochemistry does fall under the bio biochem section of the MCAT and it is about 30% of this section. So you're going to want to know your biochemistry. Okay guys, so those are the classes that in my opinion, you should 100% take before you take the MCAT. Now I'm just going to go over a few that if you just have some free electives, these ones are definitely going to be helpful as well. So the first class I have on this list is going to be a semester of psychology. With the behavioral science section of the MCAT, it's kind of interesting because you, you can take psychology and sociology, but they're not going to prepare you nearly enough for what you actually have to learn on the MCAT. So I would just say take a semester of psychology if you want. If you don't, it's okay. The second class on this list is going to be sociology. And guys, it's going to be the same exact thing as the psychology. Take it for the foundation. Kind of understand what sociology is. Kind of get your feet wet. When you're actually going to study for the psych, soci, behavioral sciences of the MCAT, just use these Reddit forums and these Anki decks for just memorizing all these different terms. All right, guys, the third class I have on this list, I actually debated putting this one on the you need to take it before the MCAT. 
um, it almost made that list, but it's gonna be anatomy and physiology. Now, when you say how much should I take, should I just take one semester, two semesters? I would personally say take as much as your school has to offer, take as much as you possibly can. There is so much anatomy and physiology in the MCAT, just kind of woven into every single section. If you have a really good foundation of anatomy and physiology, then all these sections are gonna be very, very familiar to you. For example, in the biology section, if you go to the Kaplan books, their Kaplan biology book, the musculoskeletal system, I was able to skip that entire chapter because of anatomy, and the entire nervous system chapter, I was able to skip completely. Not to mention, every single organ system is gonna be a lot easier to learn if you've already taken anatomy, because you already know what, for example, the renal pelvis of the kidney is, and you're already gonna know what it does because of physiology. I would definitely just take as much of anatomy and physiology as you can before you take the MCAT. Okay guys, my fourth class that I would have you take before you take the MCAT on this list is gonna be one semester of genetics. There isn't a ton of genetics on the MCAT, but there is enough to make it a mention on this list. As well as genetics can also be kind of more complicated concepts. So if you have a classroom setting to ask questions in, you can kind of get a better understanding than if you're just teaching yourself. Now, the fifth class I have on this list is gonna be neurobiology. This one actually kind of surprised me. There isn't a ton of neurobiology on the MCAT, but the different things and terms that you learn about about the brain are gonna help a lot when studying for other sections of the MCAT. Like for example, when you learn about the endocrine system in the biology section, you're gonna learn how hormones go from the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland, anterior, posterior, and just knowing all these different terms of the brain and uh, kind of how the brain is labeled, what each section does is gonna help when studying for other sections of the MCAT. This class is by no means a necessity. That's why it's just on the list of, if you have some extra electives, this one will definitely help. Okay guys, the sixth class, or should I say sixth group of classes, I kind of grouped three classes together in this last category because they are kind of important, but it's kind of like the bow to tie up the little gift. It's gonna be cell biology, microbiology, and molecular biology. You will learn some of these different concepts and just general biology, and the rest of it you could honestly just learn by yourself. Like for example, cell biology, you'll learn a lot about the cell in general biology, so it's not a huge necessity, but these three classes will help you with the MCAT ultimately. So it's up to you. If you have some extra space and extra electives for more classes, then I say go for it. It can only help. All right guys, so that was some different classes that you should take before you take the MCAT. If you enjoyed that video at all, make sure to hit that like button. And as always, if it added any value to your life, make sure to subscribe. I do make new videos every week. But see you guys next week.